Hi, my name is Jennifer, AKA Big Mama. This is Little Mama. And we're in the kitchen tonight at my sister-in-law's house. <laughs> and we are fixing Southern style baked macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be good. Butter. Butter, salt cheese. and pepper. And cheese. And cheese. And macaroni. we're gonna show y'all how to make it. So come on in the kitchen with us. Come on in. And when you boil your water, you always want to liberally salt it because that's the only chance you get to salt your pasta. My mother is really bad about not putting salt in her water. Okay, so we're putting our noodles in. And while they're boiling, we're going to start a roux in this other pan. And you put... The only way to do it. The only way to do it. You is put a stick of butter in a pan. And you want your pan kind of deep. Okay, because we're going to mix these noodles in with this roux sauce. Oh, we're going to mix the noodles in there? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I need you to get a casserole dish. That? That would be perfect. Okay, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll spray it. Or okay. you want me to butter it? Uh, either one. Okay. So you let your butter melt. Then you come over here. Get your flour. This is a... What is this? A nine by 13 baking dish. I'm going to spray it with ham. Except I think it's the Walmart brand. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here's cup. Here's cup. Okay. Then we're gonna come over here. Spray. Thank you, little mama. You're welcome, big mama. Uh -huh. Okay, now, we're gonna take our flour, and I don't measure, I just eyeball it. Think it's gonna good, be good, Cassie? Yes. Okay, we'll sit that right there until our butter, butter melts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I need salt and milk. Salt and pepper. Okay, salt and pepper. Got, uh, paprika. Pap I think so. Uh-oh, we got a baby coming out of the high chair. Oh, Lord. Paprika? I think I have some paprika. Right around here. This is my little nieces. These are my other babies. This it's is Memphis Gray and Taylor Elizabeth. And my daughter is sitting over here because she's a little shy. But that's Kayla. Sweet baby. So we're going to go home. Smoke paprika work. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. Yep. Paprika, salt, and pepper. And do we want to do any uh? You got all kinds of stuff. Oh, you got cooking. Yeah, I got cooking. You got everything. Oh, look, we got um. No, we don't need that. Oh, here. No, that's ginger. I used to have brown mustard. Yeah, uh, some people do put that in oh, there. Oh, here. Do you want any of that? Yeah, we'll try that. Okay. Pioneer Woman says it makes it really good. I really like her too. So our noodles are We come for you, Pioneer Woman. We come right. for you. We're coming for you, baby. <laughs> so I turned this down, Cassie. Stir it up a little bit. <laughs> Here's a tip. Oh, the noodles are sticking. Yeah. Might need to add a little oil to that water. Here's a little tip from Big Mama's Kitchen. If you don't want your pot to boil over, put a wooden spoon over it. That's right. And it will not boil over. So you won't have a mess. We about to have a mess. Yeah. We gonna get it together. <coughs> okay, so now the butter is almost melted. We gonna add the flour. And what's coming up? And that was roughly about a cup of flour. Oh, do we need to put on a little bit of um, milk? Milk, because I need milk. Yeah. Okay. And that was probably roughly a cup. This way. Which way do I need to come? Maybe. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so what I've done, let me tell you, it started our root, and I put a little butter, flour, 
and milk. And I'm adding a bit more milk to it. Just a splash. This is gonna be a creamy, really creamy macaroni and cheese. It's gonna be oh so good. And you wanna add just a little bit of heavy cream. If you don't have heavy cream, you can always use half and half. Um, either one works. And just eyeball it. I mean, that's what I do. My grandma never measured nothing when I was growing up and her food was always good. Now we're going to add, um, since this is thickened up, we're gonna add our cheese to it and get that melted. Okay. Okay, so now we got our roux going. We're gonna add our cheese to it, okay? And we're just adding a, like a Fiesta blend with some mac and cheese blend. You can add all kinds of cheese to it that you want. Um, our noodles are almost done. You wanna make sure they're good and al dente. I use a big word. You <laughs> did use a big word. That's like an Italian word. That's what I'm talking about. Cause that's what Big Mama does. I'll drain them. Okay. So you wanna add just a little bit at a time. Yeah, Get it good. melted. I just made my milk. This is ready to be. Yeah, I'm glad that they're done. Okay. And you wanna melt it really good. Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm yourself. And you wanna add a little bit more. Get that melted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be some good macaroni and cheese, y'all. Yes, it is. So, I'm still adding my cheese, getting it good and melted. And you want to just get that really blended and melted in. We'll put another handful. stir this roux up really good make it creamy and one thing we're going to add to it is just a little dab of smoked paprika okay so just a little bit okay we're going to add a little bit of salt we're going to add a little bit of pepper okay and we're going to add just a little bit of ground mustard. Um, you do not have to use this. That's optional. So I'm just going to use just a little bit. I'm going to eyeball it. I don't know, about a tablespoon probably. Just put that in there. Mix it up real good. And our noodles are done. So I, once I get this done, I'm going to pour the noodles in the pan with the roux. See how creamy that is? So what I did, was I, I added another dash of milk because the roux was getting thick, uh, thicker than what I like it. So this is about perfect. And I'm going to turn the stove off because we don't need no more heat on it. Okay, I'll sit that right there. Let's put it. Okay, so now what we've done, I got my roux ready. The noodles are done. I preheated the oven to 350. Um, and you bake it an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, so we're going to add this to the, the sauce that we made. Get a spoon, y'all. Okay, so we're back. I added my noodles. So what I'm doing is just mixing it up really good, and we're gonna pour it in this casserole dish. And um, my sister sprayed it with some Pam. Okay, yeah. or you can do butter. Don't matter. 
So I think that's mixed up pretty good. So what we're gonna do, start adding it to the pan. Oh y'all, look at that cheese. Honey hush. Yeah. It's really heavy, so I'm having to scoop it right now till I can get it. I'm making a mess, but that's okay. We can always clean that up. So this pan is really heavy, y'all. I can't pick it up, so I'm having to just put it in here with a spoon. Look at that cheese, y'all. Mmm. That's going to be some good stuff here in a few minutes. And I do want y'all to stay tuned because we will have more videos coming. And uh, from Butter Salt and Pepper Kitchen from Big Mama. Please like the video. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. And we're going to get this loaded up and subscribe to the video also. Okay? And we're going to get this loaded up and put it in the oven. And I'll be back in a few minutes to show you what the outcome is and how it looks. Okay? Now, once I get it in this pan, I'm going to top it with some, um, let me see. Hand me this right here. We're going to uh, put Italian-style panko bread chip, bread crumbs. We're going to sprinkle that on top of it, and that makes it really good. But when... Um, when it's done baking, I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we've got it in the casserole dish. We're gonna add just a little bit more cheese on top. Make, makes it just a little extra creamy. All this goodness, mm. Love it. And then, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle some breadcrumbs, Italian style. Mm. Look at there, look at there. This stuff is gonna be so good, y'all. You just sprinkle that all over. Okay. Okay, that's good. And now we're gonna put it in the oven, 350 for 45 minutes, and I will be back to show you what it looks like. Mm. I'll put it in here on the middle rack. Like I said, 350, 45 minutes to an hour. And um, please like the video and subscribe to our video. Thank you so much. We'll be back soon. <laughs> okay, we're back. It's been 45 minutes. And I think our macaroni and cheese is done. Look how clean that oven is. Yeah, it's so clean. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to take it out. We're gonna let it sit and rest for a few minutes before we actually eat it. So you can tell it's ready because it's bubbling. The cheese is melted that I put on top and the breadcrumbs have toasted. And that's how you know it's ready. A little shot of what it looks like, how creamy it is. Listen at it. Just look at that. That's gonna be so good, y'all. We getting ready to go and grub on it. So this is our Southern style macaroni and cheese, baked macaroni and cheese. Um, I hope you guys fix it and enjoy it. Um, like and subscribe to the channel, please. Um, and we'll see you next time in Butter, Salt and Pepper Kitchen, okay? So, see you later.